Weight in Formula 1. We all want to shift a few pounds here and there, and in F1, that is no exception. We've heard a lot about weight already this season, with everybody trying to trim the fat from their new cars. But what are the rules and regulations around weight in the sport? We explain in this GP Fans Special, and if you want to see more of our content throughout the 2022 season, the easiest thing to do is click on the link down below and stay with us for the whole of the campaign. But now, let's dive into weight in Formula 1. Formula One has a number of strict rules regarding the minimum weight of cars during the official sessions of a race weekend. It's a fairly logical approach because the teams benefit from anything that makes their cars as light as possible. The lighter the car, the faster the acceleration and top speed. A lighter car is also easier to drive and more sensitive to aerodynamics. Formula One teams always operate within the limits of what is permissible in their pursuit of a faster lap time. To ensure that this is not at the expense of safety, the FIA ensures that the regulations regarding minimum weight are complied with completely. Mobile weighing platforms. The minimum weight for a Formula One car is 798 kilograms in the 2022 season. This includes the driver, but no fuel. To check whether the team is complying with this, the FIA has set up a procedure whereby a driver can be called up at various times during the race weekend to report to the Weighbridge. Weighing takes place after every single race anyway, but a driver can also be called up during a free practice or qualifying session. This weighing is done by means of a mobile weighing platform called the Weighbridge. It consists of four extremely sensitive scales, one per wheel. Together, they weigh the total weight of the car and determine where the centre of mass is. A driver can also stand on one of these scales if he has to be weighed himself. The FIA Garage Until a few years ago, the weighing of the cars and drivers was done at the garage of the FIA stewards. Now, this garage is located at the beginning of the pit lane, so that a car can be weighed before anybody at the team can tamper or alter the vehicle. However, the mobile weighing platform can now be placed outside the scrutineer's garage. This saves a lot of time, which is beneficial for the drivers and the teams, for example, if they're called up during a qualifying session. Instead of having to push the cars in and out of the garage, they can now simply be rolled onto the weighing platform. Weighing during practice or qualifying. If a driver is called to be weighed during a free practice or qualifying session, a red light at the entrance to the pit lane will illuminate. The driver is then escorted to the weigh bridge by the stewards. The engine of the car must be turned off, after which the car is rolled onto the scales. Only the stewards are allowed to touch the car at this time, to prevent any other team members from quickly adding some weight to the vehicle. After weighing, the car is pushed off the weigh bridge by the stewards, after which it is free to continue on its way down to its own garage in the pit lane. At a later time, all fuel is pumped out of the car, after which this difference is deducted from the total. Procedure according to the sporting regulations. Now, how exactly is this procedure stated in the regulations? Well, Article 35 of the Sporting Regs states, if a driver has to be weighed during a practice or qualifying session indicated by the red lamp, he must immediately switch off his engine. If a driver fails to stop or if anything is added to the car before it is in the FIA garage, it will be reported to the stewards. After a qualifying, sprint race or Grand Prix, every car is weighed anyway. If a driver has already got out before his car has been weighed, he must report in to be weighed. Its weight is then added to the weight of the car. Is the total sum above the minimum weight? Then the result is valid. If it's below, then there is a penalty. Penalties after missing a weigh-in. If a team falls below the minimum weight, there can be numerous different penalties. Up to and including the 2019 season, a driver had to start from the pit lane as standard if he missed a weigh-in during free practice. This was much criticised by the drivers and teams because a driver regularly passed the red light and saw his entire race go up in smoke after a Friday session. From 2020 onwards, the stewards therefore determined an appropriate penalty would be given out on a case-to-case -case basis. For example, only a fine for the team or a number of places on the grid as a penalty for the driver. Punishments at the end of a session. Should a driver fall under the minimum weight at the end of a sprint race or race, there are two penalties. Either the driver is moved back a number of places in the race results by the stewards, or the driver is disqualified by the stewards completely and removed from the race result. This all depends on why a car has fallen under the minimum weight, and of course, by how much it has fallen below that minimum. 
So there you have it, weight in Formula 1. It's an important factor, and as I said earlier, everybody is trying to lose as much of it as possible and stay within the regulations. It's going to be a big impact as well on Red Bull and Mercedes, who have already claimed that they're carrying too much weight at the start of this season. It'll be interesting to see how they're able to lighten up as 2022 goes on. Stick with us for the whole of the season by hitting subscribe down below, and of course GP Fans Global on Twitter and Instagram for all of the latest F1 news.